we've all tried a pad thai. Your local takeaway shop does one, your mum makes one, even your dog has probably tasted one. But now we're in Thailand, the motherland of pad thais, and we're keen to put this popular dish to the test. Today, the gloves are coming off as we compare the cheapest pad thai against the most expensive pad thai. Make sure you watch until the end of the video to find out our favourite dish. Now first up, we are visiting Pad Thai in Miami. Now Miami has been perfecting her Pad Thai recipes for over 30 years. Her humble shop is known as a favourite for those searching for an amazing Pad Thai. Time to tuck into the first pad thai. Now prices start here from around 40 thai baht. We paid 50 baht for the original pad thai, which has just your regular pad thai with some dried shrimp on it. This is looking delicious. I can't wait. It's a really good price, so let's see what it's going to taste like. I asked for it a little bit spicy and it's just hit the spot. It's absolutely perfect. Such a classic pad thai. So if you're wanting like a really decent pad thai here for only 50 baht, like this is such a good option. Oh, not dry, a lot of pad thais can be dry that we've found around Thailand. Just enough of the tamarind sauce to keep it all juicy. Mm. Oh, I really like this one. So with your pad thai, you also get like a side dish of the garnishing, which has like more bean sprouts, some lime to squeeze over the top. It's really nice in Thailand, they kind of give you just like the standard version and then the ability to add on the extras that you want to make it really your own dish. So I got the vegetarian pad thai, which was 50 Thai baht. The vegetarian pad thai has tofu in it instead of dry shrimp. I'm excited to give this a go, I have high hopes. That's really yummy. It's a little bit spicy, which I absolutely love. And then it's also quite juicy. Sometimes pad thais can be very dry, but this is super juicy, a little bit spicy. You've got the peanuts. I might add some lime onto mine now. Mm. Absolutely delicious. The lime adds a little bit of the sourness to it, and then you've got the saltiness, the spiciness, and it all works together just so perfectly. Scott and I both really love these pad thais. Sometimes pad thais can be done poorly at restaurants, but these are absolutely amazing. These are our favorite pad thais so far. High praise. I'm not sure how much better it can get than this, but we'll have to wait and find out. Finding an expensive pad thai has had its challenges, as it is a dish synonymous with being a cheap eat. But 52 floors up, looking over Bangkok City, we have found a glorious pad thai for a whopping 690 baht at the award-winning restaurant Saffron. This place is pretty fancy. The restaurant is actually part of the Banyan Tree Bangkok Hotel, which is a five-star hotel. And boy, does this place look good. I hope the food meshes up. So my order is in for the fancy expensive pad thai. I've got the shrimp pad thai, which clocks in at a whopping 690 baht. Tofu, noodles, vegetables, and eggs. Pad thai with prawn, I'm just a little bit excited to dig into this pad thai. It is honestly the most glorious pad thai I've ever seen, the most expensive pad thai I've ever seen. And the fact I get to eat it, it's got me pretty excited. I didn't think it was going to look this pretty, but <laughs> kind of, you know, it's, it's making the moves on me. I'm feeling the vibe. Might put a little bit of lime on top to start it off. So we've got some, I think there's a little dried shrimp in it, and then we've got some bigger shrimp, and then we've got a big behemoth shrimp tail on it as well. 
Next thing like your usual, we've got some more tofu, some eggs. Oh, it's, it's like sludgy, it's so, it sounds so saucy. Get some nuts in there. Okay, first bite. The sauciness of the pad thai, I mean, it is amazing. It is exactly what I want. The pad thai at the last place was a little bit dry. It did have sauce, but this is like over-sourced, which I love. There is also definitely a bit more spice to it, but it's probably more on my spice tolerance. The other one, I can only just feel it. This one, I definitely feel it, and I think it just adds way more to the flavor. And on the side, there's like a banana blossom salad. I have no idea what that is. Ooh. Oh, dang. Oh, that is delicious. They're like shoots of, I think it's banana, like an, uh, some peanuts in there. Oh, that is amazing. So I got a vegetarian version of the Pad Thai. Oh, just listen to that sound. It sounds so saucy. Oh. Oh, that's really good. It's just so, so saucy. I thought the last place had a saucy pad thai, but I just had no idea, obviously, what a really good saucy pad thai is. This is delicious. The peanuts have also been cooked in with the pad thai. They haven't been sprinkled on top. This sort of gives it a really nice sort of peanut or more of like a satay flavor to it, which is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna have a go at this banana blossom salad now. Not what I was expecting at all. I really like the banana chunks in them. This is like fried banana chips or something. They're absolutely delicious. This is probably the best pad thai I've ever had. So cheap versus expensive pad thai, which one did we prefer? We love that expensive one, but it's 14 times the cost in the 50 baht one, and it's definitely not 14 times better. While we did absolutely love the expensive pad thai, it was just too expensive, so we are going with the cheap one as our winner. The reason the pad thai is so expensive at Saffron is because of the seafood. So if you're not a big seafood lover, it's probably not the place for you. You also are paying for that incredible view, so that's why it's so expensive. So don't sleep on that subscribe button, hit that bell. And say hi to us in the next video.